from Bloomberg, U.S. downs alleged Chinese spying balloon that lingered for days. A Chinese surveillance balloon was shot down by the U.S. as it entered the Atlantic Ocean, according to a defense official. The balloon had charted a course across the continental U.S., leading to Republican calls for President Biden to take action. Biden had commented to reporters on the situation, saying we're going to take care of it, prior to the balloon shoot down. The balloon had been detected in U.S. airspace on January 28 and had made its way across the country to North Carolina by Saturday. The Chinese foreign ministry had confirmed that the high-altitude balloon was Chinese, but said that it was a civilian airship conducting climate research that had accidentally blown off course. The Pentagon rejected this explanation, stating that the balloon carried surveillance equipment and was maneuverable. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken postponed a trip to China, scheduled to start Sunday, due to the presence of the balloon, which he described as a clear violation of U.S. sovereignty and international law. The Federal Aviation Administration had closed a section of U.S. airspace along the Carolina coast and ordered a halt to arrivals and departures at four airports in the region to assist the U.S. military with a national security effort. The shoot-down of the balloon has heightened tensions between the U.S. and China, particularly with Blinken's postponed trip to China. The situation remains a developing story and further information is expected to emerge in the coming days. From the Financial Times, U.S. accuses China of flying spy balloon over sensitive military sites. The U.S. has accused China of operating a spy balloon over sensitive locations in Montana, which houses nuclear weapons. This has further escalated tensions between the two countries, just days before Secretary of State Antony Blinken is due to meet President Xi Jinping in Beijing. The U.S. President, Joe Biden, was reportedly briefed on possible options for a response, including shooting down the balloon with fighter jets. The Pentagon and the Canadian Defense Ministry have confirmed the presence of the balloon, which U.S. officials claim is capable of limited intelligence gathering. The incident has led to a heightened sense of caution and security among U.S. officials, who have taken steps to protect against the collection of important information. The U.S. and NATO have been warning against China's expanding military capabilities and its intentions to destabilize Western states. The CIA chief, Bill Burns, has referred to Beijing as the biggest geopolitical challenge facing the U.S. in the coming decades. The Chinese foreign ministry official, Mao Ning, has called on the U.S. to not hype up the matter before the facts are verified. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, who was traveling in the Philippines, convened with senior Pentagon officials who recommended against shooting the balloon down due to the risk it posed to people on the ground and its limited intelligence-gathering capabilities. The incident highlights the growing concern among the U.S. and NATO over China's military capabilities and its increasing involvement in international affairs. From Wall Street Journal U.S.-China tension grows as suspected spy balloon leads to postponed visit. Secretary of State Antony Blinken's trip to Beijing was postponed indefinitely after a suspected Chinese surveillance balloon was detected over Montana. Blinken called the balloon's presence a violation of U.S. sovereignty, and some members of Congress reproached the administration for not shooting it down. China stated that the craft was for meteorological research and regretted that it had blown off course. The postponing of Blinken's trip is seen as an opportunity to manage the tensions between the U.S. and China, as the two nations are in a cycle of provocation and retaliation that is difficult to break. The issues between the U.S. and China include wrangling over Taiwan, Beijing's relationship with Moscow, U.S. controls on exports of advanced technology, and the geopolitical rivalry between the two nations. Blinken's trip was an opportunity to address these tensions and prevent them from spiraling out of control.
The balloon incident makes it more difficult for the Chinese leader Xi Jinping to ease tensions as he tries to bring China out of the isolation imposed during the COVID-19 pandemic and revive the weakened economy. Some members of Congress said the administration should have shot down the balloon, but the Pentagon decided against it due to the risk to people on the ground. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin made overtures to China but has not received a response. Officials and international security specialists believe both sides have reason to pursue a measured detente, as the Biden administration has taken a hard line with Beijing, and many allies and others want Washington to limit fallout from the competition with China, a major trading partner for many. Meanwhile, she wants to be well-received at the annual meeting of Asia-Pacific leaders in San Francisco in November. For Minoto Economics, a macroeconomic and political forecasting company in London, Chinese spy balloon reveals dangerously high anti-China attitude in Washington. Whether the Chinese balloon, the Pentagon detected over Montana, is a spy tool as the U.S. claims or an innocuous weather research device as Beijing claims, one thing is clear. The mood in America is distinctly and dangerously anti-China. Amid a widespread political outcry, Secretary of State Antony Blinken has abruptly postponed his trip to Beijing. This would have been the first high-level U.S.-China meeting in years and was aimed at lowering fraying tensions between the two competing superpowers. If relations with China have become so domestically fraught that a relatively minor incident can derail the Sino-U.S. relationship when both sides are seeking an improvement, it is not hard to imagine what effect a serious incident, like an accident in the Taiwan Strait, might have. Was sending the balloon a signal that China was ready for sustained competition with the U.S. despite seeking to improve ties? We think not. It's more likely due to a lack of interdepartmental coordination and a failure to think through the implications of the balloon's discovery. Something similar occurred in 2011 when the PLA conducted a test flight of its J-20 stealth fighter during a visit by U.S. Defense Secretary Robert Gates. At that time, General Secretary Hu Jintao appeared unsighted about the PLA's plans. Back then, the PLA was much less susceptible to political control than it has become under General Secretary Xi Jinping and it would now be unlikely to act in ways contrary to Xi's wishes. And politically China has little to gain from a deliberate provocation at present. Does the balloon reveal China's backwardness and hence diminish the threat it presents? Not really. While balloons are one of the oldest forms of surveillance, they have been increasingly used for it in recent years. In contrast to satellites, whose trajectories are known and which can only observe targets for brief periods, balloons can loiter for long periods over targets and their high altitude and curvature helps them elude radar. Moreover, such balloons are surprisingly hard to shoot down and the costs of using a sophisticated missile to take one out would be disproportionate. Any such action risks causing civilian casualties due to falling debris, which is why the Pentagon advised against such a response. The balloon incident clearly reveals that Sino-U.S. relations remain dangerously tense. It is difficult to see how the Biden administration can easily lower the temperature as the race for the U.S. presidential elections due in November 2024 is heating up. The ball is in China's court, but can Xi Jinping afford to make a visibly conciliatory gesture in order to appease the U.S. and allow enough space for the Biden administration to resume its efforts to put a floor under the fast deteriorating relationship? Let's see.